smoked turkey leg with crab, shrimp, alfredo, and spinach. This is my version of one of turkey leg huts in Houston, Texas. Famous meals. Hello, happy people. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Buffy Paris with Chop It Up. Today, I'm going to make my version of, I think it's turkey leg hut, um, turkey legs. And today, they're going to have Alfredo, shrimp, spinach, and crab meat. So I have two packs of turkey legs, and this is the size of them, which they are pretty big. Um, I've already um, washed them. So pretty much clean them. Okay. And these bad boys are huge too. So for my seasonings today, I will be using this stone meal. So it's like a mixture of like four seasonings in one container. So it's different ones. So you get to pick, choose, and refuse whichever ones you want. So I'm going to start off using some of this um, southern hickory right here. And don't be shy, because these are turkey legs. And I'm also going to use the smokehouse barbecue rub. And just be careful, because if you ever use this, sometimes the um, these things will come off the tops. So I'm going to pour some of this on here. And so since I'm going for like a turkey leg hut, they are located in uh, Houston, Texas, I believe. So it's been a lot of craze, you know, going on. A lot of people been talking about it. So since I'm not going to Texas no time soon, I just figured I'd do my own version of it. Some Italian seasoning. Okay, here we go. I'm tired of this. Big side. There we go. Woo! And I have some Tony Saturis Creole seasoning. I wish I could smell the smokiness of this already. It smells really good. Um, some garlic powder. And I'm going to hit it off with some liquid smoke as well. Since I'm not actually going to put these in my smoker, which I do have one, I'm just going to throw these in the oven. So I want to give it, oh, and black pepper. So I want to give it like as much of a smoky flavor as much as I can, but indoors. these around really good you got to get in there get in there got to get your hands dirty y'all if y'all scared to touch meat and all of that other stuff like that then I don't know what to tell you but this is how I do mine you got to get in there like swimwear and rub it around make sure it's nice and seasoned like this where well, you can smell it it smells amazing and you want to see your seasonings on your meat. See that? Mm. Front, back, sides, like you lotioning down a baby. All that. And if you 
Okay, take some of this uh, seasoning and put it down here in this skin too. So that way, get down in there. This kind of this thing of it kind of like uh, Thanksgiving when you're basing your bird for uh, you know, basing your turkey, basing it, rubbing it, seasoning it. I didn't take my butter out, but I am gonna go in. And I'm gonna put some butter in here too. Oh, this smells so good. You can smell like the, the brown sugar, like all the smokiness, all the seasoning. This just smells amazing. So you see that? How that's on that skin. Instead of using butter, I'm just going to hit it off with some olive oil. And that should work. So there's four. One. Two. Three. And four. Okay, so I'm gonna wash my hands and I'll be back. So these are my turkey legs right here. I wound up adding a couple of bay leaves. Um, this is chicken broth at the bottom. I don't know if you can see those, that little lump right there in the middle, but that's the butter up underneath the skin right there. So each one of the legs has the butter up under the skin and that's only because I didn't have any more um, olive oil. Okay, so I'm just gonna cover these up and put them in the oven on 380 for about two maybe three hours okay y'all so as i mentioned before for my turkey legs that i'll be doing today i said that they will have crab meat shrimp alfredo sauce with spinach kind of like a florentine so for my crab meat this is what i'll be using today and this is like a claw like a lump claw uh crab meat okay and it's also wild caught So that should be good right there. It's pretty dry. See, it's pretty dry. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna go through this, and I'm gonna just fill for any shelves. You're pretty much just filling. You don't want to break the crab meat all up. And guys, let's be real. This is crab meat. So if it's some shells in here, it's okay. You just don't want a whole rack of shells in here. You know what I'm saying? See, like that's a shell right there. Can you see that shell right there? Right there. Maybe that horn's plucked that out. Okay, y'all. Crab meat is done. Yep, crab meat is done. So for my wet ingredients for my crab cakes, I will be adding about one cup of mayo. About one cup of mayo. One egg. Liquid smoke. Couple of drops. Honey Dijon mustard. I don't know if you can see that. There we go.
little bit of lemon juice. I have some crab salt right here. Not too much. And I'm also going to add some horseradish. Just a little bit. I love horseradish. About this much. Okay. So now, oh, also going to add a little bit of garlic. That's because I love garlic. And some black pepper. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, a little bit of paprika. So this is everything, how it looks together. And I'm gonna stir it up really good. See what we're working with. Okay, y'all, so this is what it looks like after it's nice and um, stirred up. See that? I would taste it, ugh, but it has that raw egg in there, and I'm kind of skeptical. Ugh, OMG, I guess I have to, though. Needs a little more flavor to it. A little bit more lemon juice. A little bit more mustard. That's why you have to taste your food, guys. Ugh. Using Tony Saturies. And I think that'll be it for now. I should have put some little pepper in here, but I'm cool. Mm. There we go. That's that. Second time, always a time. So here's my crab meat that's been cleaned. So now I'm just going to take my wet ingredients here, pour it in the bowl. I'm not going to use all of it at one time. So we're going to toss this and not stir. Okay. You can add panko breadcrumbs or just regular breadcrumbs if that's what you like to do. But I don't like to do that. Toss it. Don't stir. It's a difference, people. That should be good right there because you don't want it to be um, too runny. So this is a good consistency right here. There we go. Okay. Done with that. Now I'm going to form my crab cake patties. So I'm just going to add them to this plate right here. So I'm only going to do about four of them. Just grab it like a little bowl, like this. Hands, like the palm of your hand size. And we're not flattening them out. We're just forming them to nice round patties like this. These are my four crab cake patties right here. So I'm actually gonna put these in the refrigerator so, so that they can stiffen up for about uh, 30 minutes. So for my spice shrimp, these is the bags of shrimps that I'll be using. I have two bags of these. So I'm just going to put them in my colander <clears throat> and wash them. I'm going to rinse these around real good. Then we put them in my pot. So to season my shrimp, 
I will be adding a beer. Not the whole thing. But just half of it. A little more than half. Also, I have some more of this crab salt. Use the rest of this. Sprinkle that on top. Yeah, put all of it in there. And I'm also going to add two bay leaves. lemon juice and that's all I will be adding for my shrimp so I'm going to put these on the stove for about 10 no more than 10 minutes okay and I'll show you what they look like when they're done these are my crab cakes and I'm actually frying them in some coconut oil So I want to fry these until they get um, golden brown on each side. So I just took my turkey legs out the oven. I'm about to unravel them. Oh, my goodness. Look at the turkey legs. Wow. They smell so good, y'all. I gotta see how tender they are. Wow, that just went in like butter. Did y'all see that? Oh, man. Hey, babe. You gotta come and look at these right here. Alright, y'all. I'm about to set this up. Turkey leg hut. Probably ain't got nothing on me. So I have my crab cakes here, my Alfredo sauce with the spinach here, my steamed shrimp, and I have my turkey bake right here. So now I'm about to put everything together for you and I'll be back when it's done. Time for me to dig in? Yeah, time for my baby to dig in y'all. So this is the plate again. And of course you had to have a cold what? Anakin. All right. Say my grace, rubber dog. Say your grace. Thanks for this group. Amen. Amen. Wow. Mm. Mm. I don't think we need no knife. No we need <laughs> like we wanna just pick it up and bite it. Do you? Just be sloppy. You really gonna do it? I would <laughs> You going all the way in? You going in, man. Mm. You gotta do that again. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be a fat boy. <laughs> How is it? That's good. Mm. She stopped that joint. Can you taste all the flavors in it? Yeah, that don't. Turkey that like smoke. Mm. So once again, if y'all like this video, please don't forget to first of all subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share, like, and hit the bell to be notified. Until we meet again. Peace. Good night.